Hey friends, how you doing? Thank you for joining me today on my channel. Today I have a layout for the Papers and Beyond um, shop and we are using the April kit which is Adventure Awaits, yay. And the collection features papers from uh, Crate Paper and Maggie Holmes, the Sunny Days collection. And it also features the Pink, Pink? No, Pink Fresh Studio out and about collection. So the background paper that I'm using is the, that red um, geometric one is uh, Pink Fresh Studio. And what I'm matting it with, the little paper there with the geotags is also Pink Fresh Studio. And so the photo that I'm documenting is of a recent trip to Cuba with my fam bam. And on this particular day, we went to Havana. We took an excursion to Havana. And there was this gorgeous um, cathedral um, in like the town square. And on the side of it, there was this massive wooden door. Like, I'm not a huge lover of wood, but I was enamored with this wood. It was absolutely stunning. The door was ginormous. Like, I've never seen a door this big. And so, right below the door, um, there was a set of steps. And so, me and my little family sat there, and we took some pictures. It was just really nice. And it's one of my favorite pictures from the entire trip, to be honest. <laughs> and so... That is the photo that I scrapbooked. So I just matted it with some papers from the kit. And uh, I wanted to use that navy blue uh, cardstock, which is also in the collection, um, in the kit, um, as a bit of an anchor. And to add a bit more of that darker blue, I just love it. It's so like royal and regal looking and, you know, jewel toned. I love it. Here I'm using those frames from Pink Fresh. I really wanted to use that first uh, pinkish red one, but um, I didn't. I went with this yellow one and it says tourist mode because, you know, I'm usually not the touristy kind of person, um, but when we got to Havana, I was just, oh my gosh, look at this, and whipped out my camera for everything, like everything. I wanted to... Um, eat all the street food and buy all the tchotchkes and like to totally went into tourist mode. So I thought that it was that uh, tourist mode was very fitting <laughs> for this particular trip and photo and excursion we were on. So that picture particularly um, was originally in color, but I made it black and white. It just looked a lot better and crisper and cleaner to me in black and white. And also with all the color that was, <clears throat> sorry, in this kit, I didn't want too much color to interfere with all the papers. And so that's why I went with the black and white photo versus a color photo. This ephemera that I'm using is also from Pink Fresh. And there are so many cute things. Here, like I want to use all the things and I'm trying to be very choosy and selective in what I use. <laughs> so... Yeah, you saw that I also had the chipboard there from Maggie Holmes. Um, and I will use bits and pieces of, of all the things. <laughs> so um, in the main scrapbooking kit, there are two thickers. So there's chipboard thickers um, that have like titles. And you see right there on my table to the right. And I'm going to take this puffy part that says explore. And I'm just going to use some more wet glue and secure it all down. I don't want it to go anywhere, especially because um, that type of puffy sticker really is notorious for, you know, becoming unsticky. <laughs> then I'm going to take the thickers that came in the collection, um, in the Maggie Holmes collection, and I'm just going to write out or spell out um, Havana, Cuba. Havana? Yes. Havana. <laughs> So you're going to see, I'm going to take the time to spell it out. I should have just fast forwarded this part for you guys, but um, I'm going to go through and hot, not hot glue. <laughs> I'm going to take some wet glue and just secure that down as well. So I needed a comma, but this particular thickers pack did not have commas. Um, and so I just took the, I think it's called a tittle from um, an exclamation mark. So it's a little dot at the bottom of, an, of the exclamation mark. Um, and I'm just gonna use that as my comma. 
there was like a few exclamation marks in that collection kit. I don't foresee myself using all the exclamation marks, so I thought it was okay to just steal a little piece, or steal a little comma from there. <laughs> So in the puffy thickers there, um, there are a lot of really cute pieces and I just love that little pinkish heart. It's like the cutest shade of pink too. It's like a cross between like a bubblegum pink and like a kind of like a corally kind of pink. It's really, really nice. I'm just gonna go through the ephemera pieces and choose the one, the pieces that I feel fit best with this layout. Um, you know, I was also trying to create something a little more minimalistic. The pattern papers are not, you know, heavy on design. Um, they're very, like, simple for the most part, right? So I didn't want to clutter up the page with too much ephemera. The particular look that I was going for with these layouts was a bit of a cleaner design. And, well, cleaner in... <laughs> cleaner in the way I scrapbook. Otherwise, there would be floral embellishments everywhere, right? <laughs> Here I just dipped into my stash. I needed some mini markets. I needed a, just a smaller alpha so I can write uh, the date. So I just pull out these mini markets in the uh, blue and cream. I felt like the blue from these mini markets fit well with the rest of the blue in the, in the collection. And you'll see that I add a bit more of the light blue just to tie in everything together. So just spelled out April 2019. And I popped up the camera there because I thought it was cute. <laughs> I thought that that side of the page needed a little something something. So there's a bit more of the light blue. It's not the exact same shade of light blue. It, the one that I chose is a little bit more on the greener side, but they both work well together. So I was okay with that. So there is that car that is right there. <laughs> that totally is reminiscent of like old Cuba, right? with the antique cars and I needed to put that on the layout. So I was really happy that this um, kit contained so much of this, um, like really appropriate thing for, or really appropriate pieces for Cuba, right? So like, you know, the flowers and the antique looking car and it was just perfect timing. Like I, I couldn't have, um, scheduled this better. We took a trip and here are my design team projects like fresh off my you know Canon selfie like here they are. <laughs> I love when that works out. So I'm just gonna add a couple extra pieces in and around. I love those like little Instagram looking um, like like embellishments so that one says fun that I put down on the frame also, you saw me pop up that frame on dimensional foam. I wanted it to stick out and kind of, I know it's a picture frame, but I really wanted it to uh, stand out a bit more. So I'm just going through the labels and finding some pieces that I feel work well. Just gonna tuck them in and behind my photo and on my layout. I tried to use that piece of ephemera like so many times, I just couldn't make it work. <laughs> Sometimes you want to use things, but they just don't fit with what you're particularly like working on. And so I, since I have a lot of photographs to um, document, you know, I know it's going to make its way to a another layout, but just, you know. So here I pick up like my yellow Heidi, Heidi Shop, Heidi Shop, Heidi Swap color shine. And it wasn't standing out as much as I wanted it to, so I just went over it with the gold, just added some gold splatters there. And that's it, that's my layout. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I hope you guys will join me again. Oh, I also added some black splatters with some watercolor. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I hope you guys will tune in again for the next batch. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow or soon. Take care, bye.